Okay, welcome back to this Ether Revolt draft. We're jumping in for round one. We lost the roll, unfortunately. We're sort of red white aggro. I think this deck's fine. It's a sort of six, seven out of ten. Not massively excited about it, but um, we'll see how we get on. And we can keep this. Fairly happy with it. We need another land, but that's okay. Okay, so we have two two drops, so we're feeling pretty good about that. We do need to see another land in the next couple of draw steps, obviously. Ninth Bridge Patrol, sure. Okay, so we got our land, so we can feel pretty good about that. It's probably not the colour we would have picked, but beggars and choosers and all. We have we should have reckless. We'll play reckless for racer next, obviously, which should put us in a good spot. Okay, well that's not quite so good. Shuts down our gear shift ace. Yeah, we'll just keep on running. We'll just keep on running out, guys. Here, we will potentially attack even into the high spire artisan next turn because um, we can draw and discard then, which puts us in pretty good shape. Opponent's ponder in this turn. Okay, he's going to prey upon to get rid of her. I'm not too displeased with that. The 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 gear shift ace really couldn't do anything against the high spy artisan anyway. So um, I kind of feel like our opponent's maybe slightly wasted his um, his prey upon there. Hmm. We could revoke privileges this, but I think. I think I'm okay with playing out the Iron League Steed and swinging with both. Perhaps we just revoke it. But we don't have any other removal in hand hmm, decisions. Yeah, let's do that. I wonder if our opponent was considering something like acrobatic manoeuvre there. Very well could have been. Do we want to discard something here? Yeah, I think we'll discard the Countless Gears Renegade. Okay, we drew into the land, so that's good. I think I'm okay with that. It does signal to our opponent that our hand is very good, which is worth knowing. We don't necessarily play airdrop, air, airdrop bear notes next turn. We could just play the... Okay, so our opponent's... Okay, so our opponent really doesn't have a lot of gas. If he's bouncing something like High Spire Artisan, I mean, I, I realise that it does trigger the Ninth Bridge Patrol, but our opponent clearly isn't in great shape here. If that's if that's his best play, oh, he plays Dead Eye Harpooner. That is good, though. That is very good here. Opponent swings for two. I think I'm pretty comfortable just. Hmm. We could play Iron League Steed here um, as, uh, and play both out. It kind of holds both our opponent's creatures back. Of course, if our opponent does blink something, we know one of his cards is the High Spire Artisan. We have to presume our opponent's 
severely out of tricks here. Of course, we have nothing to fire off with the cars at the moment. We have nothing to get for free for them. I think in terms of mana efficiency, we're just going to play the ear knot. Opponent's going to play Artisan here. One, so me obviously had a land drop, so... Yeah, I mean, that's the card we knew he had in hand. He has one other unknown in hand. I would imagine he'll make a token here. There's, I mean, putting the counter on doesn't... Well, I'm kind of surprised at that. Okay, so our opponent's representing a trick. I'm quite happy to take that damage, I think. Let's play out the steed. We'll make a guy, because we could potentially chump later on down the line. And it still allows the Iron League Steed to swing. So what our opponent's going to do here. We're maybe... Uh, we're going to make a servo. If our opponent has a trick, well, let's see what he has. He either has the trick or he doesn't. The opponent doesn't have the trick. That's interesting. Okay. I feel like we're in much better shape now than if he doesn't have a trick. We are absolutely happy to race here then. If that's what our opponent wants to do, we are we are DTF. If you excuse the parlance. Well, I want to race here. I think I'm okay with racing. Aether Sphere Harvester. Okay, that's fine. We can obviously deal with that. We kept that destructive tampering, so no issues there. Probably worth looking at boarding in the. Knowing we has that now, I'm entirely comfortable boarding in uh, decommission as well. Just swinging in with the one this time. Opponent's crewing at post. Why would he be doing that? So he can prey upon, perhaps? He must have prey. So he did have the removal spell in hand then. Okay. So he's going to prey upon the air. Yeah. Okay. That is a little bit annoying, unfortunately. Uh, okay. But we did draw a very good card. So we will obviously destroy... The Aether Sphere Harvester. Opponent's going to crew it. Not really sure of the purpose of that, given it's going to die anyway, so he's just effectively giving away three damage. Oh, he's looking because he then get the pump on the Night Bridge Patrol. Okay. We'll play Aerial Responder. Opponent has no cards in hand now. Um, so. 
we will swing with both because we want to get our opponent as low as possible. Our opponent does not have lethal on the table and we potentially want to try and kill our opponent next turn. It does seem unlikely given the current board state, but that's the plan. Opponent only has one card in hand. He's played 2-2 two, two prey opponents, so yeah, we're okay with that if you want to attack with that. He's playing something big. We really want to see him play this with the counters because I think we win if he... What's he doing? Is he putting counters on? He does. Do we just win here? Okay, so if we take this... Um, we're going to get in for... It's going to be five. This will be a 5-5. Five, five. This will be a 5-5. Five, five. This will be a 3-3. Three, three. So we have five six. And our opponent's in terrible shape if we do that. We can't obviously do Karazev and the precise strike. But I think we if we take it, we will be swinging. He'll have two blockers, and we'll be doing. Yeah, I think. I think that's the play. So let's. Oh, of course, because we can precise strike for free. So. So we'll take it. We'll play the precise strike on. It doesn't really matter. Servo. Our opponent does here. Ah, oh, we should have played on the cultivator of blades. Hmm. Our opponent does have to block two of these creatures. He has to block. Oh no, he can block one of them and. Oh no, he can't. He has to block two of them. So he has to block, block. He doesn't have any option. We're going to get massive amounts of lifelink. So although the, the, ten, the Ninth Bridge Patrol will pump. I think we've. I think that's the win. I think. I think the extra point of damage is relevant here. So I think we win. Sure, he has to block him. Yeah. We'll gain. He gets him back, but I think we then just win. Depending on what our opponent draws. If our opponent has a pump spell, we lose anyway. I think we want to block the A8 thinking about it. To our opponent, please. Just attack with the 2 2 here because obviously, see if our opponent has the trick. Mm -hmm. Opponent's thinking. Very close game this. There's no point in attacking with the servo as well because it doesn't it's not lethal. I mean if he kills the our league, you know, it's not lethal by itself anyway, so yeah, okay, we got there. That was close. Very, very close game. Our opponent's got a very good deck here, Culvier of Blades, uh yeah, Ether Sphere, Harvester. So we will take the decommissioning for sure. Um we need to take something out if we're doing that. Perhaps just one of the implements. Perhaps Avery mechanic or something like that. It's just not going to do too much in our deck. If 
perhaps a universal solvent is just an alternative. Perhaps swapping an, an implement for a for a universal solvent isn't terrible here. Keeps our universe. It keeps our um, artifact count the same for Quicksmith Rebel, but um, it, it is a removal spell there, and we get seven land that turn. So that game. So I think I'm okay with going something like this. Ether Sphere Harvester is very good. It is a concern. So. We do need to be prepared to play around it a little bit, which is why we're, we're kind of comfortable bringing in the... Okay, well, we'll mulligan this hand. Uh, we've learned our lesson with keeping one landers. It's better. It's not great, but it's better. And we'll keep that at the top. We can play a two drop, but then three drop, so... Okay, well, I'm feeling a bit better about this situation now. The opponent's not doing very much. Uh, and we are, we're playing spells. We're going to be playing a real spawn next turn. Opponent plays High Spire Artisan. Yep, making it 0 4 again. Play our aerial responder. Obviously not attacking. And we could just, just keep swinging with the air responder just for the purposes of um, gaining life. Opponent misses land drop. Okay, that's interesting. And we hit. Hmm. Well, I'm going to swing with the air responder. If our opponent wants to do a combat trick, we've got acrobatic maneuver up. So we'll see what our opponent does here. Well, we kind of expected that, so I'm okay with that. That worked out, out, out okay for us. Uh, we effectively two for one their opponent. Um, kind of. He didn't kill the aerial responder. He's played out his trick. We've got the trick out of his hand. We drew a card off the acrobatic maneuver. So I don't feel too terrible about that. That universal solvent could become relevant. Okay, cultivary of blades is obviously relevant. So. The question is then do we want to keep up the. Uh, do we want to keep up the uh, the mana for precise strike? I kind of feel like we have to so that we could kill the cultivator of blades. Should you choose to start swinging with it? Perhaps not. Perhaps we just because we can we can double block with the welder automaton. So I think will play out the Reckless Racer. We will not attack. Our opponent, to get the benefit from the Cultivary of Blades, he has to attack with it. So, Fabrication Module, we're fine with that. I don't think that's a big issue here. For the opponent to get the benefit of the High Spires, and he needs to swing with the Cultivary of Blades. Um, and we're getting ever closer to that 7 mana for the Universal Solvent as well. He is going to swing with both. So he's representing a trick here, uh, and I feel like we just kind of have to... I think we stick everything in front of the Cultivator of Blades so we kill it and accept the fact he's going to kill off our aerial responder. Which isn't great, but I feel that that's just kind of where we're at. Yeah. Yeah, not 
best. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't work out so well for us. But at least we know we can... Um, we can't even swing with the reckless racer this turn, but then we want to, we want the mana for the universal solvent anyway, so... Our opponent only has two cards left in hand. We do have a combat trick, um, and we don't have to block necessarily with the... Actually, we could have swung with the reckless racer. That's a mistake, because we had precise strike in hand to deal with the color of blades, but... So lovely. Just with the high spire artisan. Okay. It's playing something significant. Okay, so maybe that's going to be our target for. So he puts the, he's putting the counter on the Reparian Tiger, so I think that's it going to end up being our, our target. Okay, does that change things? Maybe it does because the you know if, if we want to play the, 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 the if we want to make the uh, the, the universal solvent. The the, the, the the target of the quicksilver thrill when we can't sack it I think yeah I think we're gonna destroy the riparian tiger and this time we we, we can't swing I mean, we wouldn't necessarily want to swing anyway so we do have to kind of pass there Only has one little card left in hand. We have two good ones, but mana's a concern. Put it to swings with high spire arts on again. Did I harpoon her? Okay. Okay, our opponent's hand's empty now. So we can play Quicksmith Rebel. Obviously our target has to be the Welding Automaton. Which is unfortunate. And then decommission away the Fabrication Module. Definitely behind this game for sure. But our opponent still can attack with the cultivator of blades because we can block with the first striker um, and then uh, I mean next turn we can block with the welding automaton and the reckless racer, which is a pretty nice situation to be in because we've got precise strike. If our opponent elects to swing with the cultivator of blades here, we'll see what he does. Just the high spire artisan, okay. So we'll take that. We don't really have a lot of option here. Kill the harpinist. Mobile Garrison isn't irrelevant here by any stretch of the imagination. So we'll play it out. Oh, slightly miscarried our mana. Not that that's too relevant here. I mean, we can then use a Quicksmith Rebel to crew the Mobile Garrison, so... Oh, wow, okay. We can then do some cool tricks with our Welding Automaton as well, which is pretty nifty. Tap it, attack with Mobile Garrison, untap the Welding Automaton. Oh, okay. Do we just take his Cultivator of Blades? Oh, 
What's he going to do if we swing with a mobile Garus in here? Let's do two damage to the Cultivator of Blades. Attack with Mobile Garrison. Kill off the Cultivator of Blades. Opponent will block, obviously. And we're in much better shape now. Opponents obviously got to put us down. You know, we kind of accept the fact that we're we're going to be going down to four life here, which isn't ideal, but we will not block. Opponent plays aerodrop here or not. Okay, how much damage are we doing here? Okay, so we can just do the same thing again. Unfortunately, we kind of do have to block then. attack with everything here and hopefully draw hmm. I think we have to be sensible and just attack with the um, it's close attack with all creatures hopefully we draw into Off the aeronauts. Discard the land, obviously. Okay, how much damage do we do here potentially? We do two, three. Yeah, because I mean, we can, yeah, okay, because we can block with the Welded Automaton. So I think we just, uh, we do two to our opponent. Mobile Garrison. Let's see what our opponent does. Put our opponent to ten. We're on one. We're in a very precarious position here, of course, but we can we can sort of oh my goodness, our opponent concedes. Wow, okay. So we got there. I'm surprised he conceded there, but uh, we got there, we got through, we okay, our opponent uh, had lands in hand, he flooded out there unfortunately, and we were in good shape there. Um, so yeah, we somehow get there in a very close first match. Uh, hopefully you will join me for round two.